And once again, I'll say it, it's a Ninja Turtles game. There's a Technodrome level. The enemies are starting to get more interesting, at least. These little devils are quite annoying. They don't hurt that badly, but they just waste a lot of time. Raphael can drill those guys a lot better than Mike can use specials against them. Mike's special very rarely takes more than one uh, of the enemies out. I'm being very loose with my specials again here, because I know I've got a uh, little help coming. That was fun. Yeah, amazing about this episode of the series of the Ninja Turtles, that's the last pizza. We've only seen a couple of pizza slices in this entire game. Where are they? It makes the game rather difficult. Perfectly timed special here. Standing in just the right spot, you can take out four of those helicopters at a time. Otherwise, they fly all over the screen and make a mess. These yellow robots are kind of cool. I like being able to throw them back and forth and back and forth. This is just plain pointless. Lucky shot. Kind of tough to see what's going on here if you've never played this. There's little light beams that are passing across each of the red sections of wall. If it's intersecting with the bottom of the three squares of that red wall, then you have to jump over the beam to avoid damage. Otherwise, stay on the ground, otherwise you could get hit while you're in the air. And now we've reached another really tough sequence in the game, a double boss battle. First up, Razar. Very versatile guy, Razar. In this episode, he has icy breath. In other games, he has fire. First up, you have to be very careful not to go too fast because he is very quick. And what I was doing there was setting up his moves. If you move too fast, he'll catch you out of the air. Alright, let's play Shredder. This is a run stopper, folks. Fresh off of your battle with Rezar, you've got one life bar. No really getting around it. And this guy is fast. What he normally will do is try to jump kick you, which is somewhat of an advantage. He'll go to the wall 
And it's always the furthest one away from you, giving you time to get out of the way. You can also move him around the screen like I'm doing here. I can, he's trying to get next to me, and I'm moving, and I'm actually able to manipulate where he goes. At least while he's on the ground. The jump kicks are unpredictable. You can make him usually do something, but that's about it. This battle takes a long time in the interest of safety. But the same rules apply as with other boss battles. You want to be slightly above or slightly below him. But if you're even with him, he'll attack, so do not get even with him if you can help it. When you kick is important, too. You want both of you on one half of the screen. As soon as you cross the center line, you can kick him. And you're in deep inside the technodrome. How'd you see it? 